What is going on guys, Greggles TV. A lot of you will come up asking me, hey, how did you change the colors of uh, your quick toggles and your notifications that you get to a black background or colored? And I'm gonna show you how. I've already actually shown this on the Galaxy S9 Plus. Uh, it's an app called Good Luck that you can download in the Galaxy Store. So I'm gonna show you directly again how I just kind of change these things. So let's get into it. So first thing you wanna do is swipe up and open up Galaxy Apps. So open that up. Once you have that up, search for Goodlock 2018 and click on it and install it. If you haven't un if you haven't installed, great. If you don't, install it. And then once it's installed, click open. And this is going to be your uh, one-stop shop to really customize your Galaxy phone a lot. There's tons of stuff in here. I'll actually link my video down below that I made on Goodlock 2018 um, a few months ago, uh, so in case you need to know how to use it. But otherwise, I'm going to show you the quick way that I was able to change a lot of this stuff. And where it is, it's right here. It says customize your special quick panel. So when you click in there, uh, you have a bunch of things in here. You have coloring, you have simple indicator, and you have notification multi-window so click on coloring and when you click on coloring this is going to be where you can customize all that stuff so you can either choose the ones they have for you that are recommended already or you can go in here and go to uh, my coloring right here and you can add a new one and so hit the plus sign and this is going to be right here what it's going to look like uh, once you edit it so let's do a couple things in here let's go to color one and we're going to choose a color that we want maybe we want when um, let's see what is this sort of thing. I believe this is when things are on. So apply color to on quick panel on. Okay, so when things are on, what color do we want it to be? Maybe we want it to be red, for instance. So we'll hit done after that. And then maybe apply color to off things. So when things are off, maybe we want it to be more of a, a darker type color. Um, so let's choose, or just any kind of color really that we want. Let's choose, uh, let's choose this that green right there, we'll go some Christmas stuff here. And then background color, this is gonna be where you can change the background color of what it looks like. And maybe we want it to be, that's really hard to see. Um, maybe we'll make it this kind of color. It's a tough color to match actually, that green. And then we'll make it purple, how about that? Then hit done. And then you can stop at that point or you can do some more customizing. You'll see background transparency. So you can basically make this so it's completely transparent and you can see uh, your wallpaper in the back. Maybe you want to see that or maybe you want to make it about 50% so you see a little bit of the wallpaper and a little bit of that purple color that you put. You can apply a blur effect behind the panel. Let's do that. Uh, apply a dim effect behind the panel. So if you don't want that, you can turn that off. You also have notification coloring. So right now it's set to that kind of purplish color. Or you can turn it off so it goes back to the default white or whatever the theme that you have set is. And then that is pretty much it. You would just hit save. And you can hit save and not apply it or you can hit apply and it'll save it and apply it. So when I swipe down, you're gonna see my notification panel and my quick toggles is this purple. And if I get a notification, uh, it'll end up showing as this color as well and it's super simple. You saw how easy I was to be able to do it. So you can actually end up saving all these, you know, the way you want it to look. And again, that easy. And if you want it to be back to one you already saved, just click on it and then hit apply. And you'll see it's back to the one I had before, which kind of looks like cotton candy. Going back here, there's some other things as well. Simple, simple indicator is actually really cool. Uh, it allows you to remove some of these things up the top. So maybe you don't want to see your mobile data signal. You can see it right up there. If I click on it, it's gone now. So I don't, maybe you don't really care about seeing that. You can turn a lot of that stuff on and off. Like for me, I have my alarm not showing, uh, the volume not showing. If you don't want the time to show, you can turn that off. You can literally turn off so much stuff. I don't really care about NFC. Maybe you don't care about Wi-Fi. So again, go in here, customize it as much as you want. The other thing in here is notification uh, multi-window, which allows you to show notification multi-window in notification menu row when swiping notification. So kind of shows you what it is, but basically when you swipe, you'll be able to do some other things in there as well if you have that uh, turned on. And that's the quick start there. Uh, and when you want to install that, obviously just make sure 
uh, that when you do, you're gonna have to, when you click on Quick Start for the first time, it'll say install. So just make sure you install that. I didn't mention that in the beginning, so make sure you do. Uh, the other cool one that I, I that uh, I, is this one where it shows your recent apps and you can see mine looks different probably than the way yours looks. Yours probably is up and down. Um, my recent apps are left to right, kind of the way that the new Android will end up doing it. And that's just task changes. So install that by clicking on it and you hit install. Once you hit install, it'll open up to this. And this is where it'll end up showing. You put this on and it's gonna change it. And you can choose different scrolling effects. Right now I have scale. Maybe I wanna change it to uh, linear. So when I do linear, you can see it all is the same. So whatever you wait, and the reason this is cool left to right is you can see the whole window rather than just a portion of it when it's up and down. And again, those are two of the, my favorite in here uh, things for good luck, but there's tons of stuff in there. I'll put a video if you want to know more about it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll see you down the road. Peace.